At the CPPCC opening session, Chairman Yu Zhengsheng delivered a work report on the committee's achievements last year. The report said the people's interest and well-being should be at the center of the CPPCC's work. It also stressed the importance of sticking to opening up policies and establishing good relations with other countries and international organizations. Seventh, promoting friendly international exchanges and fostering a favorable external environment. We've served the diplomacy of the country and promoted high-level exchanges between China and other countries. We've communicated Chinese achievements and stories and the CPPCC arrangements and CPC uh, multi-party cooperation to the outside world. This area is called the Delegates Corridor. Members are invited to speak to the media here, a new feature for this year's two sessions. Eleven CPPCC members are invited to speak to the media today, including China's first space traveler, medical and agricultural officials, a member of the Winter Olympic Committee, and also an actress, as they are walking to the session's opening meeting. China has made great progress in its space program in recent years, sending up a laboratory and several rockets. And it is at this delegate's corridor that the country's first space traveler was able to share his expectations. So this new era is an era of renewed hard work and we welcome uh, all, all of you who are committed to aerospace program to uh, join our program and contribute to the strength of the aerospace program in China. By doing so, we can live up to the expectations of our times. Chairman Yu said advisors last year handed in 29,000 proposals, of which 24,000 pieces were registered and over 99 percent were handled. Many see this year's two sessions as a chance to deepen policies in order to better adapt to a new era. Wu Guoxiu, CGTN, Beijing. CGTN's Jin Keo is, covering in, is in Beijing covering the two sessions for us. She now joins us with the latest. Jin, China's political season has formally kicked off. What are the key highlights from today's sessions? Well, Penina, today the CPCC officially kicked off this major annual political event. Now, this is the advisory committee that mainly deliberates on a wide range of issues um, from the economy, um, talk of social issues, pollution, or even the sports. Now, the chair of the committee, committee set the ball rolling uh, by delivering the committee's work report and achievements over the last five years. Now, this includes uh, reforms in a number of areas. Now, generally speaking, Members are selected through recommendations and consultations. Uh, for instance, to become a member of the National Committee of the CPCC, now candidates need to first be recommended by an honorable source. Now they are then reviewed by the relevant organization. Now if successful here, their names go forward to the preceding CPCC National Committee for deliberations uh, before their names are released to the public along with all other um, successful candidates. Penina, so we are looking for an interesting um, couple of uh, days um, in this political season here in China. Right, interesting days you say, Jane. So what can we expect in these coming days? Well, we are here for another three weeks, and this is a process that goes on for another three weeks. About 5,000 delegates uh, will be meeting at the Great Hall, at the Great Hall of the People uh, of China here in Beijing. Now, on Monday, perhaps, will be the most busiest. The NPC, that's the legislative body or parliament, if you like, the world's biggest. Um, it's about three about 3,000 delegates make up this uh, parliament. Now, on Monday, it will open. Remember, this parliament only meets once a year. Now, this is the core of the two sessions. Like any other parliament, uh, they will be deliberating on bills and can propose, they can propose any kind of changes. Now, um, it's scheduled to convene every March, every early March, and thousands of lawmakers and advisors will discuss and decide on legislation of domestic and international concerns, including constitution revisions. Now, lawmakers will also elect state leadership and the upper echelons of government for the for the coming five years. Now, in addition to preventing uh, financial risks and continuing targeted poverty alleviation 
also pollution will be among the key issues that will be discussed uh, by the NPC. Now, uh, again, this is an election year and we are looking uh, at the members uh, endorsing the election of uh, President Xi Jinping uh, for his second term. Remember also they are expected um, to change, to make amendments to the constitution, um, removing the presidential term limits. All right. Jinkyo Life for us in Beijing. Thank you, Jane.